What's up everybody? I'm Logan from sleepopolis.com and today I'll be comparing the puffy and purple mattresses. I'll go over some similarities between the two, differences, and who I think should go with one over the other. So stay tuned to find out if you should buy the puffy or the purple mattress. So the first way I want to differentiate between the puffy and purple mattresses is by going over the materials used in the layers of them. So I'm going to start with the puffy, which is an all foam bend to box mattress. Now the cover of the puffy is a mixture of polyester and lycra, which is often used in athletic clothing to give it a little bit of stretch. Now below that we have the comfort layer of the mattress, which is two inches of a gel memory foam. They have a fancy name for it like cooling comfort foam, but it is really just a gel memory foam. So it's going to allow you to sink in, give you that contouring feeling around your body to provide some nice pressure relief. Now the reason they use a gel infusion in this layer is because memory foam can at times be known for trapping a bit of body heat, but that gel helps to draw heat away from the sleeper and allow you to sleep a bit cooler. Now below that there's a transition layer which is two inches of poly foam. It's a little bit firmer than the foam above it, so it's giving you a little bit of cradling support as you move further into the mattress. It also has a bit of a quicker response to pressure than the memory foam above it, so it's going to help you feel not so stuck in the mattress as you sink deeper in. Now at the base is a six inch layer of high density polyfoam. It's a really common material used in a lot of bed in a box mattresses. It's really firm, it's got a quick response to pressure, and it provides support to the mattress overall and gives the puffy its shape. Next up is the purple mattress, which is also a bed in a box mattress. Now the cover is also a mixture of polyester and lycra. They also have a little bit of viscose in there for some added breathability. Now below that is where it gets a little bit different than the puffy mattress. The comfort layer on the purple is their proprietary hyper elastic polymer. It's a really bouncy material that sleeps really cool. Now they set it up in this grid structure. And what that basically does is it creates walls and when you lay down on the mattress, those walls are gonna strategically collapse to provide pressure relief where you need it most. And they're gonna stand tall where you need a little bit more support at that time. So it kind of gives you this nice medium firmness in multiple positions. Now below the layer of hyper elastic polymer, you get a high density polyfoam layer that's a little bit firmer. Again, kind of start to give you that cradling support as you push further into the mattress. And then at the base of the purple, Again, we have that common high density polyfoam, that firm material that supports the layers above it and gives the shape to the purple overall. Now, of course, the most important thing when buying a new mattress is what it actually feels like to lie in bed. So I wanna give you my opinions on the feel of both the puffy and purple mattresses. First up, the Puffy, in my opinion, it has a firmness in that like six, six and a half out of 10 range. Uh, on the firmness scale, I had a few other people here at Sleepopolis check it out too, and they kind of all in agreement, our average was about a six and a half out of 10 firmness. So that's that nice mix of support and pressure relief. Now I was lying on my back, my weight's pretty evenly distributed. I did feel myself sink into that memory foam layer on top. You get a little bit of that classic kind of contouring feeling around the body. It's nice for pressure relief. So when I started to change positions, roll around, things like that, there is that slow response to pressure for memory foam, it's not a really bouncy material. So you won't really feel like you're fighting the layers or anything like that on the puffy. You can change positions okay, but there is a little bit of a slower response there. And when I was rolling onto my side, uh, you know, what I generally look for for side sleepers is a softer mattress so you can sink deeper in without kind of jamming up and causing pressure points to form in certain areas. I think the puffy is a good choice for most side sleepers. Uh, you know, you, I did feel like there was pretty good pressure relief from this mattress. There's a nice transition from the really uh, soft memory foam that it's cradling support that kind of like eases you into the mattress. I think the Puffy is a good choice for the side sleepers out there. Now, when you're rolling onto your stomach, what you're looking for here is good support for the hips. Uh, you know, if your hips are sinking in the mattress, it's gonna throw your back out of alignment. You're probably gonna wake up with some aches and pains in your lower back. I do think that the Puffy uh, is probably just a little bit too soft uh, for most strict stomach sleepers. So next up is the purple mattress. And again, it's right in that six to six and a half out of 10 on the firmness scale. Uh, you know, when I'm lying on my back, my weight's pretty evenly distributed, so it doesn't really collapse the walls of the grid so much. So I still feel more on top of the purple than kind of sunken into it. As I'm rolling around, changing positions, it's a really, that hyper elastic polymer is a really bouncy material. So I'm able to change positions really easily. There's really no stuck feeling on the purple. Now as I roll onto my side, it's pretty interesting because those uh, walls of the hyper elastic polymer grid start to collapse where you need the most pressure relief. I think it did a really good job of uh, kind of allowing me to sink in at the shoulders while still providing enough support for the hips, which means it's gonna have really great side sleeping spine alignment, which is a really great benefit for the side sleepers out there. Now rolling onto my stomach, the purple is pretty interesting. 
because while it kind of collapses walls when you need the most, they kind of snap back as you're moving around on the mattress. So it kind of changes firmness a little bit depending on what position you're in. I think it did a good job of supporting my hips while I was on my stomach because my weight, again, is more evenly distributed in this position. Uh, you know, so that is a really big bonus for the purple is that it has this medium firmness in multiple positions. So I think it's a really great mattress for combo sleepers. Now, I'm mostly talking about the flagship models in the puffy and purple lines today. They do offer a few other mattresses, so I want to touch briefly on them here. First up is the Puffy Lux, which is also an all-foam bed-in-a-box mattress. It does have an added layer of foam in its construction, so it's going to allow you to sink a little bit deeper into the mattress for pressure relief. And it's got this luxury plush feel to the mattress that I think is a really great option for the strict side sleepers out there. Now, in terms of price, the Puffy Lux is a bit more expensive, coming in between $1,245 and $1,795, depending on the size mattress you get. But you can use the code SLEEPOPOLIS275 to save $275 at checkout. Next up is the new purple line, or purples two, three, and four. Now these mattresses still use purple's proprietary hyper-elastic polymer in the comfort layer, but they do combine it with pocketed coil support. Now the numbers two, three, and four correspond to the heights of the uh, polymer layer. So you got the purple two, which is uh, two inches, three, three inches, four, four inches, and the taller the comfort grid, the softer the mattress. So it's going to be the two is going to be better for stomach sleepers, three for combo sleepers, and the purple four is going to be the best option for the side sleepers out there. Now, regardless of the height of the comfort grid, the combination of the polymer and pocketed coils make it a really bouncy mattress. So you're going to be able to change positions pretty easily. Now, again, the new purple line is a bit more expensive than the original purple coming in between $1,600 and $2,800, depending on the model and size mattress you get. Now, I do really like both the puffy and purple mattresses, but I want to give you a few recommendations on who I think should go with one over the other. First up, the puffy. I think it's a bit better for the side sleepers out there. Even though the firmnesses are kind of in that same region, I think the soft feel of the memory foam up top is better for pressure relief, allowing you to sink in, really keeping you away from getting jammed up at the shoulders. Now, I also really recommend it to those looking for a memory foam feel. It's got a great memory foam comfort layer that allows you to sink in, gives you that contouring feeling around the body, and it also does sleep a little bit cooler than other memory foams that I've tested. Now, in terms of the purple mattress, I think it's a bit better for the combo sleepers out there. Again, because of that grid, it's got that medium firmness, that nice mix of support and pressure relief in multiple positions. It's also got some good bounce to it, so you won't feel stuck in the mattress when rolling around, changing positions, things like that. And I also think the purple is better if you're worried about kind of overheating. I think the hyperelastic Palmer does a really great job of sleeping cool, dissipating body heat, so you won't have to worry about body heat trap during the middle of the night. Now, before you go and purchase one of these mattresses, I do want to give you a little bit of basic information. So first up, there is a trial period for both the Puffy and Purple mattresses. Now, the Puffy offers 101 night trial period. The Purple offers 100 night trial period. So pretty much the same. Uh, you can have it in your home for just over three months, deciding whether you want to keep it, send it back. Now, they both offer warranties. And of course, you want to check out exactly what those cover on their websites. But the Puffy offers a lifetime warranty, which is well above the kind of average bend a box online market warranty. Uh, the Purple offers a 10 10-year warranty, which I would say is about the standard you see with a lot of the online bed-in-a-box companies. Now, they both ship for free. They both arrive compressed in a box, so you want to let them kind of expand for a few hours or even overnight before you actually sleep on them. Now, in terms of price, the Puffy ranges from $595 to $1,150, depending on the size, but you can use the code SLEEPOPOLIS250 to save at checkout. And the purple kind of is a little bit more expensive on the top end, a little bit less expensive on the uh, twin size mattress, ranging from $584 up to $1,299 for the king size. So that's it for my comparison of the puffy and purple mattresses. If there's anything I didn't cover, just leave a comment below. Now, if your mattress search continues, hit subscribe or Google mattress reviews and sleepopolis to see my full listing there. And make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter so you don't miss any of our sleep news or giveaway announcements. And check out sleepopolis.com for all of your sleep needs.